Hey everyone, I'm going to be reviewing the Tourbox Elite today. This control box by Tourbox Tech uh, is an upgrade to their Neo in a few fundamental ways. One of the most important being it now comes with Bluetooth connectivity so you can finally work wirelessly. To demonstrate just how customizable this control box is, I'm going to be jumping into one of my favorite programs, Blender. And because I am left-handed, this tour box has to be configured for my personal right hand use. So why don't we jump into Blender and take a look at the tour box elite. So we'll begin by looking at the console software, which controls the actual tour box. There's a representation on the screen which will uh, show all of the necessary uh, parts of the toolbox. You can even press the buttons and it will jump to one of the uh, sections so that you can see what shortcut keys have been applied. I have created a blender preset. By taking a look at the tasks that I want to perform with my right hand, as opposed to the tasks I want to perform with my Wacom tablet. The only thing I've really customized on my Wacom tablet from the default is by making one of the clicks a middle click. So now that I can use my pen much like I would use my mouse. So Toolbox puts this nice little uh, HUD display of the four arrow buttons that are on the Toolbox and will show you what keystrokes are assigned to each I've decided to use them as my front, top, side, and perspective toggles, right? There's also a camera toggle, which is not on the HUD, which is the, the tour button, right? I'm just going to zoom out here uh, by middle mouse dragging a little bit. If I just go into perspective mode, let's just zoom out again, okay? I can now orbit by using this raise knob, which I've assigned four and six of the numpad, which is the, uh, the horizontal rotation or, uh, of the camera. But if I hold down control, I also can rotate vertically. And so there's a nice uh, fluid rotation just with that one knob control to get pretty much anything. Now, of course, the other way you can do it is just by middle mouse clicking and dragging, and then you get sort of freeform control. But let's say we needed to just go to home, right? Or uh, we needed to frame everything. I can return to this kind of view with just a couple of uh, button controls. Now, I've assigned some other things like radial menus, uh, to some uh, buttons as well. So uh, with this particular one, I can go into rendered view, for example, because uh, it won't go around. What we want to do is just use the mouse to select the view we want. Now this scroll wheel, okay, if we take a look at uh, the dope sheet, right, we've got a couple of keyframes. And I'm going to select the object here by uh, clicking on it with my Wacom pen uh, so that we can toggle between those keyframes. Now, if I scroll up, it is like a right arrow, left arrow, scrolling by frame. If I hold down the uh, side button and scroll down or up, I actually go up and down different keyframes. Okay, so there's that control. Now, I've also assigned the play to the scroll button, so there's a play and stop just by touching it. Okay, just like pressing down. Now, other functions that come in handy are things like, you know, grab, rotate, and scale. And so, in order to do that, what I've done is I've gone with uh, making this button here the Alt button, so that I can reach down to my uh, four keys over here and just go, okay, I'm gonna grab that. Okay, one of us. Okay, so if I double click on that, it's escape. Select, rotate, right? Uh, and we wanna double click there to escape. Select, scale. Now this also works really well for things like grease pencil. So I can orbit around a scene with grease pencil. I can look in perspective. You know, I can select the grease pencil object. It's going to take off all of the, the extras there for a moment. 
And let's say that we wanted to do a little bit of drawing. I'm going to add another layer just using my Wacom tablet. Now I'm going to go to my radial menu and hit draw mode. And then we can uh, maybe zoom in here. So let's go shift middle mouse to grab, control middle mouse to drag. And then I can sort of maybe do some refined line work here. Okay, to draw over. Okay, now is that on the plane? Yes, it is. Okay, so we can orbit, we can go back to the, uh, the front. We can zoom out a little bit and just continue to refine those lines. And so we can uh, use this to uh, get ourselves the right amount of shortcuts for navigation and, and get our project uh, well done. So if you want to get your hands on the Tourbox Elite, Tourbox Tech is currently running a Kickstarter campaign. I've supplied the link in the notes below this video. Uh, and so why don't you kick off 2022 with making the Tourbox Elite part of your digital workflow?